all you flight simmers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and we are back into Microsoft Flight Simulator, and we're doing the bush trip uh, on Alaska to Collect Lake. Now, we are actually on leg three, which originates in our last airport that we landed at, which was uh, Cape uh, Sarah Chief Airport. And we're now heading to False Pass Airport, which is what you see on the screen right here. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, I am sitting here in the cockpit. Let's take a quick look outside first. And let's see if we can see which way we are heading here. Uh, looks like we're facing towards the north. I think is the way we want to take off. So, uh, see something here. Yeah, so we came in from this direction. If you're looking down here, we're here at Cape Sharif, and we're going to be making our way around and kind of working our way along the lakes uh, over uh, across uh, Umac Island is where we're at. So, Let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing started. Um, again, I'm not a big fan of tail draggers, but let's see if we can kind of get this thing uh, ready to roll. All right. Uh, we've got our EFR map, and we should be following right straight out this way. So let's zoom back in. And let's go ahead and do our run up. Uh, flaps are, let's uh, set our flaps to at least 16%. That should be fine. And so let's uh, go ahead and take off. Oh, dang tail draggers. Okay, we are off and flying. Let's uh, pull up those flaps. And we should should be want to swing around here keep it for that particular nice so let's see if we can continue to do that so we want to be flying right along through here uh Sure, why the uh, why we're not being shown on the VFR map, but we should be able to follow along right through here. I think. So our first position is we're taking off from Cape Sharif and we're heading northeast over the Red Hill towards the shoreline. Uh, we should be tracking right along here. And let's see something here. Yeah. Okay, so we can see where we're at along here. Let's just hop outside and kind of enjoy the view a little bit. Clearly, definitely Alaska.
All right. Well, as I get a little bit farther, I'll catch back up with you here in a little bit. I think we've gotten to our first uh, point. Uh, we need to be flying better level out here. I think we're supposed to be tracking along this riverbed. We should be heading at about 89 degrees. So let's kind of follow along here. Go back inside and take a look. And we should be tracking right along. Uh, I think we should be heading uh, approximately 89 degrees. Close in here a little bit. We should be coming across right here. We should be looking for this lake right here. Which I think is on the other side of these mountains dead ahead up here and let's see if we can see what We're flying at about yeah let's we kind of straighten out here And, yeah, we're somewhere around heading about 89 degrees. Not sure why they're not uh, showing the uh, aircraft on the VFR map today. As we are traveling, uh, I'll uh, catch back up with you here in a little bit. We're going to be crossing over these uh, mountains up here, so we need to gain a little elevation. So I'll be back with you in a little bit. Okay, I think we've just crossed our mountain ridge and we're now to our next point of interest, which is East Caldera Lake. So we're swinging around and if we look at our little map here, we're heading for that spot right there, which is right there. And we should be doing about direction of 40 degrees so if we pop back outside yeah we can see we're at 35 degrees but that's pretty close which we're going to hit right about there so as we get farther along here i'll catch back up here in a little bit
Okay, well, we finished crossing the waters of uh, Caldera Lake. We are now heading towards the Shishaldan Volcano, uh, which is along this track right here. This is that little lake right there, which is right there. And we're going to be uh, kind of crossing right over here. And then uh, once we hit over there, we're going to be turning towards the shoreline, I believe. It's what it kind of looks like here. Uh, crossing over around there. And then we'll make a sharp turn towards the shoreline. So let's just hop inside. And we can kind of see where we're at right here as we are heading towards the uh, volcano. So, uh, I'm going to hop back outside and let you guys all enjoy the scenery. So this should be our little lake right here that we're uh, coming down, this kidney-shaped lake that we're just kind of flying over. Then we get past it a little farther up, then we're going to make a uh, sharp right towards the coast. And there should be a little uh, lake or down here or inlet, it looks like. Probably a little inlet, which might be this right over here. So we're uh, pretty much right on course. We go inside the cabin. You can see us uh, flying right by that little kidney-shaped lake down there, right here. Uh, I think if we check this out, uh, Shoreline Lake. Yeah, see, I can never follow these, but I think we're going to hit this riverbed right up here and then uh, turn sharply to the right and kind of follow it on down. So I'll let you continue to enjoy the scenery as we uh, continue to fly. We're still moving along here. We've been flying along the shoreline. We're doing Cape uh, Lazarus, which is this point right here, I believe. 
and so as you can see we've been flying right about 90 degrees we should be coming along this point right down here and then we're going to uh, start heading 38 degrees towards the north and that's we're going to be heading for the peninsula and then when we're, we're going to be getting close to uh, I think our airport there it is right there on the map so uh, I'll uh, kick back and uh, let you all enjoy the flight Okay, well, if you can kind of see over here in the lower left, we are crossing over this uh, little uh, inlet right here, making for this little strip of land. And at that point, we will be uh, turning towards the north, uh, following along the shoreline, basically, and into our airport, which is the Falls Pass Airport. So once I hit this inlet, I'm going to be going back inside the cab and uh, we'll f uh, fly on in to the airport. Okay, after we get past this little uh, little hill here on the uh, left, and I think I can see the airport up there just uh, ahead. So as we start getting past here, we're going to kind of swing around just a little bit. down in elevation a little bit uh, probably time to start setting a flap it's a kind of a tricky little uh, airport to get into Kind of lose your uh, depth perception on the with the uh, water. All right, let's do another flap. We don't want to mess it up now. We're almost here. This is always the tricky part for me, is landing these uh, tail draggers.
getting lined up here. get stopped all right okay we're on the ground we haven't tipped over Let's get over here off Hold into the parking area. And hopefully we should get the thing saying we've completed the leg. Come on, let me know that I've completed it. Yep, there we go. Leg completed. Checked. And it took us 46 uh, minutes, it looks like. So a little longer than what uh, they uh, thought it probably would be, but that's okay. We got to enjoy a lot of scenery. So our uh, next leg is to Cold Bay Airport. Uh, that is looks like it's going to be a little bit shorter leg, so we'll do that in the next episode of the Bush Pilot Trip. Well, if you like this uh, video, please hit that thumbs up. It uh, really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. And ring that bell. Uh, I'm always putting up new videos. Uh, I enjoy doing this, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. So uh, with that, all you sim pilots out there, keep uh, flying away and keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.